So you've just made a cool pixel art character and you would like to get them into a game on Scratch. Well, I'm going to show you how to add your character and replace an existing character with mine. We're not getting into anything crazy fancy. I will provide a link to the project page so that you can do that with this game. So I'm going to click on see inside. You can do this on theoretically you can do this on any game on scratch some will work better than others this one's made for you to bring in your your 2d pixel art character so i click on the main character or the player and um i select them and i'm going to uh just uh delete okay um so that character's gone i'm going to upload you hover your mouse over this you don't click it you hover your mouse if you click it, it's going to open up this menu right here, and you're going to just have to go back. So I'm going to hover my mouse and then click on Upload Sprite. And then I'm going to select the new character that I just made that I downloaded. There's another video on how to download it. I'm not going to go over that in this video. So I'm going to select that character. And I've imported my character. Now, right now, if I hit play, if I test it, I can't move. That character's not moving. So I have to copy the code that was on this main character to this one. Or I'm going to just do this. It's a little easier. I'm just going to replace that character. So I'm going to um, click on the costume. And I'm going to click Copy. So I've just copied this character. And I'm going to go to the main character that I just deleted. And I'm going to paste. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to grab my character. And I'm going to make sure that this little lines up right there. It's very important that, that locks on that little target. OK, if it doesn't, your character will not work the way you want your character to work. So I'm going to get rid of this one now. And I have my character loaded in and uh, let's see if it works. Let's hit stop and start. Hey, look at that. And I've even got levels. So there you go. That's how you add your character in to a pre-existing game. And I'll talk about levels in my next video, but that's how you move your video in. and you can also just redraw a new character just make sure the most important thing is that you center your character is so important that you do that because if you don't um things will not work how you hope they will um yeah so there you go bye